So I had to do it. As soon as I saw this thing, I knew it needed to be in my collection. Uh, like $289 worth of awesome. Just look at all the features on this little truck. We're just going to go over it real quick, and then we'll let the crawling begin. Take it out and give it a nice run. So this has the nice tucked-in body, a lot like kind of like a creep-style body. A super deep bed. I mean, for being an RC truck stock, that's a lot deeper than you normally get. Cleared windows. And these tires. Oh my, they are just sticky. And what, Gen 9 axles. These nice, like, low-profile aluminum shocks. We'll get that back in focus. All steel links underneath here. Nice and smooth. And this is cool. It just tilts forward. And if you want it to come off, you pop it off right in there. Oh, there's their, their hex fly. They say it'll handle, I believe, up to 3S. We have a 42 turn 550 can motor. Nice open. Everything's easy to get to. I'm going to put just a, let me use just this little 2200 2S on it today. I think that's all we'll need. Look how thick this is. I believe I saw it was three millimeter thick flat rails. And a 35 kilogram hex fly servo. And they said that this has been modified to put out the, well, I believe 7.4 volts to 8.4 volts, I think, is what it's up to. You could be wrong there, but I'm pretty sure that's what it goes to. Tucked in bumpers. Uh, this truck's just a bag of awesome. And the radio, they revised it a little bit. It is a four channel radio and you can adjust everything. So I'm gonna power this thing on and let's just get crawling and see how we do. Well, let's start out here a little high risk. So far, so good. The, the new radio redesign feels pretty good. It's actually got a foam wheel. Take a little second here, get used to this guy. I have not driven on this section of the tree yet. I just built what we're getting ready to come up to. So far it's got pretty good controllability. Uh, it was a little touchy when I first hit the throttle, so I had to get used to that, but not horrible. And here we are, look at that, getting up to the scenic overlook. Just built that, and I haven't driven on this section yet either. Oh! <laughs> Switch angles every so often so you can see the full truck yeah, a little bit of rubbing Well, the, the rubbing's going to get quite annoying, so I need to get some wheel spacers or go out and cut the fenders a bit. We're out here at RC Rivercliff Trails, RC Park, been busy working on. 
getting going. There's a small group of us that's been working out here and really getting a lot of trails put in. We're going to have an event on November 18th if you're in the central Ohio area. Get on Facebook at RC River Cliff Trails. And man, hit that going or interested if you think you'd like to. There's a lot to do out here, as I'm sure you're getting from this just a little bit of a sample. So far, so good. Money well spent. Uh, <laughs> Got to do something about them fenders, though. That's a, a lot of grinding noise. Gets a bit on the annoying side, but... If that's the only problem I've got to complain about, I don't really have any problems, do I? Well, that sun's really out now, and that body looks awesome. Servo seems to have plenty of power. Definitely going to be trimming on that body, though. Well, there it is. I think that's going to wrap it up. Uh, a <laughs> pretty cool truck. $289, $300, bucks, whatever. It's a pretty much a no-brainer if you're looking for a new truck or if you're just getting into this. This would be a good way to let you know that this is something you might be interested in because this truck actually performs really good right out of the box. Uh, mods will be done to it, obviously, because that's just what we do. Different wheels, tires. We'll probably make it a little wider. And, you know, that'll be that. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this, and I hope to catch you on the next video. I got myself high-sided over there. Look at that. All right, we'll catch you next time.